leading from behind, saying, and I quote, hope is not a strategy. Governor Romney went after the president on foreign policy today in a speech at the Virginia Military Institute. I believe that if America doesn't lead, others will. Others who don't share our interests and our values, and the world would grow darker for our friends and for us. America's security and the cause of freedom cannot afford four more years like the last four years. The president's campaign was firing back. Okay, did you get that? He started talking about the world will get darker and started talking about security. Um, I'm telling you, in the last month or so, ever since 9-11, uh, when the uh, U.S. Embassy got attacked and that ambassador got killed, it's been all over the news, peace and security. But Romney was just saying it, the world will get darker. That's <laughs> that's First Thessalonians 5.3, straight out of that guy's speech. Uh, they will say peace and safety, peace and security, and then sudden destruction. Just incredible. And, uh, just more, more and more confirmations just keep coming. Unbelievable. Hey, YouTubers. I just put up a video saying that uh, how I listen to Fox News and how they just say security, like, nonstop. Because, uh, you know, when, when the Bible's talking about they'll say peace and safety, peace and security, I don't think it necessarily has to be peace and security together because um, there's just been a huge increase in the amount of people saying just security by itself. So listen to this. With his funeral procession in Sierra Vista, California, Sierra Vista, Arizona. And inside that church, mourners remembered Nicholas Ivey as a family man who loved his job and lived to help people. The U.S. State Department removed dozens of security personnel from Libya in the months before the attack on the U.S. consulate there, despite repeated requests for more protection, not less. That's what a security team commander is now telling CBS News. He says U.S. officials pulled his own 16-member team from Tripoli just a few weeks before that assault as other staffers voiced concerns about potential gaps in security. Here's how the commander subbed it up. Quote, I felt like we were being asked to play the piano with two fingers. That attack last month in Benghazi killed four Americans, including our ambassador to Libya, Chris Stevens. James Rosen is live in D.C. And James, I'm curious, has anybody else said, yeah, we were looking for more security. Instead, they pulled security out. Well, Shep, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee told me today that is his understanding as well. Multiple investigations are now underway from the FBI agents on the ground in Libya to the State Department's internal review. Anyway, you get what I'm saying? It's just, it's everywhere. It's like all they talk about now. Security, 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 security. 